Hey guys, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. It snowed again the other day, yesterday, uh, about three inches. There's a little bit of snow underground, but it warmed up to uh, 47 or 48 today, so it's melting off all right. The um, other day we had four inches of snow. I didn't get the camera out, so I didn't get to do any recording, but yeah, it was four inches of snow. So I just want to do a little update on my solar power electrical system. I am not intending to go more on the grid, rather quite the opposite. I have 1,600 watts of solar panels here available for use. The problem is, when it's sunny out, like today was beautifully sunny, I can't use all this power because I don't dare fire something up like a uh, cryptocurrency mining rig to burn excess power when we could have a, a storm come up or clouds passing by and if I'm pulling a thousand watts on a computer inside and we have a period of clouds or a storm I'm not able to come home from work just to shut off that computer and then go back to work so if we have this adapter it's just for emergency situations Today there was no cloud and there was no storm, so it would have been fine. So we would not have used grid power today. On an average day we won't use any grid power at all. Um, it just gives me the ability to turn on more stuff in the house without fear of damaging the battery bank. So it's like an emergency backup, a fail safe, an extra, um, in case, and again I can't I, I know people are not going to understand this, and I'm going to repeat myself. It's only so we can use more solar power. It's a buffer and a backup. So the idea is not to use grid power at all, but so that we can use everything we have when I'm gone during the day and use those, that, those computers or that energy to earn me some money or to do something useful or to run some extra appliances in the house if we want to and not worry about a potential cloud or a potential storm coming by. Now, nighttime use, the idea is I'm going to kick it on all the time because it's easier than having a voltage sensor. I guess it doesn't matter, really, but I just figure it's easier to kick it right on. It doesn't mean we're going to use grid power. What it means, though, is if the batteries are drawn that too low at night, see, we're used to being in energy saving mode at night anyway. So we don't use that much power at night. But if, just if, something drew the power down a little bit longer than usual, that's there as a, as a reserve and a backup. That's all I'm saying. Then I can be more relaxed about our system. So I, I, I want to clear that up. It doesn't mean I want to go back on the grid or use a lot of grid power. It means I'll be able to use more solar power more of the time without fear of, of the weather. And because I'm not home all the time, like I used to be home, I lived on the property, I worked on the property, I was here 24-7, and if some clouds were coming by, I would shut down the cryptocurrency mining rig, for example, the solar-powered cryptocurrency mining. I would shut down the computer, and if the, the, the sun came back out, I'd fire the computer up again manually. All day long, as needed, I would do whatever I wanted to. Melanie could run the washing machine or vacuum cleaner, whatever she needed at the time, if the power was full on. But with me not being home during the day, because I'm working, I missed a beautiful sunny day. So we had, um, we had 1,600 watts of power today. Every hour, that's 1.6 watt hours, uh, 1.6 kilowatt hours of power wasted. Because I didn't use it. I had nothing using it at all. Um, batteries were in float and uh, we had nothing running. So it was all gone. That, oh, that energy can't be recovered. So an average 10 hour day, that's uh, 16 kilowatts of potential energy lost because I didn't dare turn anything on because I wasn't here to turn it off in case the sun didn't stay out all day. With a grid backup, if there was a brief storm or a brief cloudy period, um, it wouldn't matter. Let it run a little bit. Might pull a little bit of grid power. Maybe a little, not much, because there's still sunlight hitting the solar panels. The idea is 
to supplement what we got in emergency if I'm not there. That's all. So I hope that clears it up. So um, if you've got any questions, please do ask. I'll be happy to answer your questions in the comments below. And, um, well, I don't want to repeat too many times, but I hope I got the point across. Another bonus, though, is for you guys, for those who are going to start getting off the grid, the battery backup system, the battery charger backup system, will help you so you don't damage your batteries while you're learning. And that's a big deal. That's a really big deal. Another thing is for off-grid people who are fully off the grid at this time, that same device can be plugged into the system with the, everything I'm putting into place, the circuitry and stuff, and then if you have a generator. See, the biggest problem with having a generator in your off-grid living is either you bypass your solar entirely and you run straight off your generator and run all your, your household stuff, or you have to go from the generator to a battery charger to your battery bank and then through your inverter to the house. So it's either switch everything over to the generator or you've got to go through a little battery charger. Well, this is a high enough powered battery charger that it can run quite a bit of stuff from your generator while still using some solar if there's any available. Like in the winter time, you can still supplement your power that way. And with the switching system, your generator can go into idle at times it's not needed, saving gas. So I hope that makes sense. So, Troy from the do-it-yourself world and the off-grid project. Talk to you all later.